welcome all of you who are assembled this evening for a very special event of uh, welcoming shri shri gornitai <coughs> to the homes of two very special devotee families his grace subarao prabhu we can stand up subarao prabhu and nirupama mata ji sumed and sukirti <coughs> Yeah. yeah. So they are welcoming Sri Sri Gaurnatha in their homes, and we also have Ajay Prabhu, Shilpa Mataji, and Sri Ansh. They are here also. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Prabhu is there. Yeah. <coughs> so it's a very very special occasion. Some of you are attending a program of this kind for the first time. How many of you can you please raise the hand? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I will spend a few minutes explaining about these two personalities whom you saw now, for whom we performed the Abhishek, Chishi Gaur Nithai, and then I will tell you the meaning of this song. Om Ajnana Tamiran Vasya Jnana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshuvan Nilitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitam Vena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Adamakyam Padati Svapadantikam Andeham Shri Guru Shri Yutapada Kamalam Shri Guru Vaishnamamshta Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vitantam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Dalita Shri Vishakhan Vitamsha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Niti Namini Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatta Deshatarine Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Aya Krishna Chaitanya Namni Gaurat Vise Namaha Vancha Galpada Rubhyasya Drupa Sindhu Bhya Evacha Patitana Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Yadvaita Gadadara Sri Vasati Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Ajanu Lambita Bujau Kanaka Vadhato Sankirtanai Kapitarau Kamalaya Takshau Vishwambharo Vidavarau Yuga Dharma Palo Vande Jagat Priyakarau Karunavatarau Vande Sri Krishna Chaitanya Nityananda Sahoditau Gaudodaye Pushpavantau Chitrau Shamdau Tamonudau Anarpita Charim Chirat Karunaya Dabatirana Kalau Samarpaitum Munnatoj Valarasam Sabhaktim Shriyam Hari Purata Sundara Dhyuti Kadamba Sandipitaha Sada Hridaya Kandare Suratau Vasya Chinandanaha In the Srimad Bhagavatam, the four ages, Satya, Treta, Dwapara and Kali. You all may be aware of these four names. Satya Yuga, Treta Yuga, Dwapara Yuga and Kali Yuga, they are mentioned. And here, Parikshit Maharaj is asking a question here. You will find here. Uh, oh, here. See, this is King Nimi discussion with uh, the now uh, Navayogendras. He is asking a question. Shri Rajo Vajakas Pinkale Sa Bhagavan Kim Varanaki Drishon Rubihi Namna Vake Navidhina Pujate Tadihochatam. He is asking, in what colors and forms does the Supreme Lord appear in each of the different ages? In Satya Yuga, Treta Yuga, Dwapareka Kali Yuga. 
uh, when Lord comes as an avatar, in which uh, forms he comes in this world. I heard this called this called Green Grace, isn't it? So Vindavan also is very famous as a green land. And it's land of cows, cows, deers, and peacocks, and uh, parrots, and uh, and also gopas and gopis, and beautiful Yamuna flowing. That Lord Krishna appears 5,000 years ago, which we all know very well. But what I am going to show you here may not be so familiar for you. The four ages, Satya, Treta, Dvapara, Kali. In this description, one by one he is going to say, which age are we all living in now? What is this age called as? Kali Yuga. So, you, you will be interested to know, King Nimi is asking question about the four ages. Let us also hear about what happens in Kali Yuga also. So, he is asking, uh, with what names and by what type of regulated principles is the Lord worshipped in human society? Which means he is asking question about who is the Lord who appears uh, in each age, what color he will be having, what color body he will have, what is his name and how he is worshipped. Hmm. Let us see what uh, what answer we get here, you will see here. Shri Karavajana Uvaja Kritam Tretam Daparam Chai Kali Rityesh Geshavaha Nana Varana Vidhakaro Nana Iva Vidhinejjate he is saying, in Krita, Treta, Dvapara and Kali, Bhagavan Keshava, you know, Lord Krishna, Nana Varana Vidakar, he assumes different colors. Anybody knows what is the color of Lord Rama's body? Anybody knows? Ah, it's like a Druva grass, uh, green. What is green color? What is the color of Lord Vishnu's body? Hmm. You know, Shama. Uh, it, what is it was? Jayati Jayati Devo Devaki Nandano Sau Jayati Jayati Krishna Vamsha Pradipaha Jayati Jayati Megha Shyamala Komalango Jayati Jayati Prithvi Bharana Shau Mukundo See Shyamala Komalango it is a Lord's form is what color? Sham color and Komalango very tender uh, limbs of his body so, Vishnu, Krishna, they all have a similar color. So, therefore, the Lord's body may be of a certain color. Some people ask, why Lord Rama is green and why Krishna is blue? Or some people ask, why Krishna plays on flute and not guitar or something? People ask questions like that. See, every one of you sitting here, you have your choices or not. How many of you like chapati more, more than rice? There are few. How many of you like rice more than chapati? Correct, no? So, you have choice. If I tell you, no, no, no rice for you, only chapati. You can't. Similarly, so Lord also has a choice. He plays on the flute. But there are reasons given why he plays on flute also sometimes. If you take a veena, veena has got a big portion. Inside which you don't know what is there. Something is hidden. Whereas in a flute, is there anything hidden? You can see through the flute like this outside, inside. So anybody who is simple hearted, doesn't hide anything, they can become very dear to Krishna. Therefore, Krishna plays on the flute. Some reasoning is given. <laughs> but always, yeah, you, you can't ask the Lord why you like what you like, because you also have likes and likes your own preferences you have. So, Lord also comes in various colors, different colors in different ages. If you read deeply scriptures, you will know the reason also why he comes in a particular color. There are reasons given for golden color also. Later on, I'll tell you. So, he's saying, he's saying, Lord Keshav appears in various complexions, names and forms and is thus worshipped by various processes. Here a very important note here that although there are many avatars you all have heard, like Matsya, Kurma, Varaha. How many of you heard these avatars? Matsya, Kurma, Varaha, Narsinga. You all know about it, correct now? But there is a Jaydev Goswami's famous song called the Shavatar Stotra. Every line begins with Keshavadrita. Meena Sharira Keshavadrata Sukara Rupa Keshavadrata Vamana Rupa Keshavadrata Narahari Rupa From this what you learn, Keshava only becomes mean. Keshava only becomes Sukara, which means the boar incarnation, fish incarnation, uh, Narasimha incarnation. That means person is only one. But he is, just like we have double acting, triple acting, he is doing uh, Dashavatar means ten different forms he expands. But the person is same. 
one person only, correct? Like some of you men here, you are sitting with pants and shirt. Some of you other men may be wearing dhoti uh, and uh, kurta. Some of you may be wearing, uh, you know, kurta and pyjama or whatever. Your dresses may be same. And different occasions you wear dress differently, correct now? Huh? But the person is same. So Lord also, when he incarnates in various forms, one person only expands. The example is given, you can take one lamp, like in Dhamadhar month, we take one lamp and lit up a thousand lamps. So all the lamps are equally luminous. But their source is one lamp and the source is Krishna. Huh? From Krishna only all the other forms emanate. Therefore, here also he says, Lord Keshava appears with various complexions. One important point also is when Matsya Kurma Varaha Narsingha we should not think they are ordinary boar, uh, pig or something or ordinary fish. One should not think like that. Uh, that another occasion we can discuss about it. The small fish which uh, was seen by Raja Satyabratha, the fish told him, my dear king, I am also your praja, why don't you uh, protect me? So the king was amazed, you are a speaking fish. Huh? So please tell me, how can I protect you? I will do that. He said, put me in a little bigger pond. He said, put him in a pond. And the fish became pond size. And the fish said, my dear king, can you please put me in a lake? Then he put him in a lake, it became lake size. Fishing by Matsya now. So, in this, the Lord was doing Lila, Lila with his own devotee. Why he does Lila with his devotee? The very meaning of Lila means pastime or playful activity. Playful activity. Like this fish becoming bigger and bigger and, uh, you know, dealing with the king as if, you know, he is not God. Ultimately, he reveals his God. But who is that God, ultimately? It's Keshava. Hmm. Keshava is with the Sharira. Keshava is with the... Sometimes people, you uh, know, Christians sometimes ask a question. See, you people are too many gods. You get confused. But we have only one God, they say. Hmm? We have only one God. They, little do they know, Actually, in our Vedic literature also, there is only one Supreme, called Vasudeva, hmm? or Keshava. Only one Supreme. But he expands as Vishnu, Rama, you know, in uh, Masikul Mavarana, Nashinga, various forms, one person. He does multiple roles. So, that's what is mentioned here. After his various complexions, in ancient forms, and he does worship by various processes. And then he's saying about Satya Yuga. Satya is what he says, you know, Krita, Krita Yuga. Krite Shuklash Chaturbahur Jatilo Oval Kalam Baraha Krishna Dino Pavi Takshan Vibra Danda Kamandalu is saying here, see, in Satya Yuga, what is the Lord's color? It's white. And how many hands he has? You can see the, you can see the slide and answer the question which I ask you. And how is his hair? It's not like ordinary hair, he has matted locks. And what garments, what uh, dress he wears? Tree bark hmm? dress, yeah. Uh, and also he carries a black deer skin and a sacred red prayer beads and the rod and water pot of a brahmachari. So this is the yoga form. Huh? This is the way the Lord appears. Yeah, like similar to Vamana. Huh? This type of form he appears in Satya Yuga. Manushya Sudada Shanta. Now it's very important. In Satya Yuga, what was the nature of people? You can see. Manushya to Tada, at that time people were Shanta, Nirvaira, Sukhrutaha, Samaha, Yadanti Tapasa Devam, Shameyana Chadameyanacha. See, what are the qualities? Six qualities are mentioned here. People in Satya Yuga are peaceful, non envious, friendly to every creature, steady in all situations. They worship the Supreme Lord by austere meditation and by internal and external sense control. Seven qualities. They are peaceful, not hankering for anything. They are non-envious, friendly to all. Sarva Bhutan Ranjana, they are friendly to all. And they are steady in uh, pleasure and pain. And they also do meditation, austere meditation they do. In Satya Yuga, you all know Dhruva Maharaj was in Satya Yuga. Do you agree he did a very austere meditation? He stood on how many legs? Two legs or one leg? Yeah. And you know, the first month he ate only one tasteless fruit once in three days. Uh, second month he only uh, took uh, grasses, like uh, what do you call it? Uh, shark kind of, kind of uh, grasses, once in six days. Third month, once in nine days he drank only water. Fourth month, once in twelve days he drank only air. Do you think you can do such austerity? 
If you prescribe that austerity in this program, people will run away. No? Is it not true? So they were very austere people in meditation. And they were also doing internal sense control. Internal control means mind control, external sense control. They were so they were practicing all these amazing qualities. No? In Satyaga, Lord is glorified by the name Hamsa, Suparna, Vaikuntha, Dharma, Yogeshwar, Amala, Ishwara, Purusha, Abhyakta, Paramatma. All these different names are given to that person who was mentioned here. So all of the devotees, if you are attentive, you will see now, for each Yuga, three, three shlokas are there. One shloka talks about Lord's form, another shloka talks about Lord's names, and the third one talks about the nature of people. Okay. Now let us see next one. What is the next yuga called as? Tretayam rakta varno sau chaturba gur stri me kalaha iranyakesha strayatma sruksruvad yupalakshana. See, here the Lord appears with what complexion? How many arms he has? What is the color of his hair? Yeah. How many belts he wears? It's not a belt. It's actually a, a sacred thread. <laughs> Don't think this belt. <laughs> it's a sacred thread it is. Huh? Yeah. For performing the initiation to the three Vedas. Okay. <laughs> and then Riksama Yajur on, on those three. And then his symbols are, he carries a ladle, spoon, and other implements of sacrifice. The reason is, in Satya Yuga, that personality was teaching meditation. Whereas this personality is teaching, performing Sakriyagnya. Which is, because it's which Yuga it is? Treta Yuga. It's clear to everybody? Treta Yuga, the Kride Yadhyayato Vishnum Tretayam Yajato Makai. Therefore, he, he is teaching how to perform sacrifice. And then comes the next Yuga. Tam, oh, sorry, in Treta Yuga about the people. Tam tada manuja devam sarva devamayam harim yajanti vidyaya traya dharmishtha brahma vadinaha. Here, if you see, in Treta Yuga, the human society, they were fixed in religiosity, dharmishtha, huh? and are sincerely interested in achieving the absolute truth. Hmm. Uh, wor uh, worship, they worship Lord Hari. See, two words are used dharmishtha brahma vadinaha. Huh? Like that. They were seeking absolute truth. And they were also very religious. Yeah. The Lord is worshipped by rituals of sacrifice taught in the three Vedas. So in the purport, here it is said in Treta Yuga that human society is described as Dharmishta, thoroughly religious. Huh? And Brahma Vajanaha, faithfully seeking absolute truth through the Vedic injunctions. These two qualities. Whereas in Kali Yuga, people are not very religious. People don't know what is true religion. And, and they are also seeking... And nowadays people are talking about spirituality without God, you know that? You know, Srila Prabhupada was giving a lecture in America, in Mishra's uh, Yoga Society. In his lecture, Prabhupada is quoting, there is one, uh, uh, one Chatterjee who has written a book called as Role of God in Yoga. It's an internationally popular book, hmm? Role of God in Yoga. In that book, Chatterjee is saying that People have forgotten that Padanjali talks about the Vishnu Murti form, which is the ultimate goal of all yoga practice. Yama, Niyama, Pranayama, Asana, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyara, Samadhi. But most yoga societies nowadays teach what? If you get uh, sickly or unhealthy, you go to yoga and that's If you have back pain, you do one type of yoga. Huh? Isn't it? Or if you get some other problem in the body. So yoga is mostly used for self-serving, disease-curing method. Nowadays, our people want to have a little more healthier body. Whereas the goal of yoga is what? To attain Lord Vishnu. Uh, that is Padanjali Yoga Sutra. So, nowadays there are atheistic people also practicing yoga and they think the goal of yoga is not God. Uh, the goal of yoga is just health and uh, enjoying life. They think like that. So, Prabhupada quoted that book. Hmm? So, people were Dharmishta and Brahma Vadinaha. They were thoroughly religious and they always referred to Vedas. Oh, okay, here the person is mentioned. Vishnu Yajna Prishna Garbaha Sarvade Vaburu Kramaham Vishakapir Jayan Tascha Urugaya Idir Yate. What is the name of the person? What are, these are the different names. Vishnu Yajna Prishna Garbha Sarvadeva Urukrama Vishakapi Jayanta Urugaya. Different multiple names. 
Like sometimes for our families also, children are given two, three names, correct? No? Lord has given for many names. Now, what is the next yuga? Yeah. Vapare Bhagavan Shyamaha Pitavasa Nida Yudaha Shri Vatsadi Vir Ankaischa Lakshanai Rupalakshitaha. So, who is the person, uh, the personality for Vapare Yuga? Uh, it is Krishna. He appears with dark blue complexion, Mega Shyamala Komalanga. He wears Pitambar and Lord Transcendental Body is marked with uh, uh, the Shri Vatsachinha, which is the residence of Lakshmi. And also he has Kaustupa jewel. And also Lord shows 400 form in Mathura, Dwaraka and all. And in Vindavan he shows only 200 form. That is this form for Dwapra Yuga. So, um, this form is glorified by Bhishma also. Tribhuvana Kamanam Tamala Varanam Ravikara Gauravaram Varam Dadhane Papuralaka Kula Vritana Nabjam Vijaya Sakera Tirastume Navadya. Same form he is glorifying. Eh? He is saying Tribhuvana Kamanam. You are famous in all the three worlds. Eh? Tamala Varanam means your body is bluish complexion. Ravikara Gauravaram Varam Dadhane. That means your Ambaram, your dress is. Uh, Shining golden, dazzling golden dress you are wearing. So, in this way, he is glorifying. This is the form of Krishna and Dwapara Yuga. Tantara Purisham Matya Maharajo Palakshanam Yajanti Veta Tantra Abhyam Param Jignasa Bhonrupa. He is saying, My dear king, in Dwapara Yuga, men who desire to know the Supreme Lord, who is a supreme enjoyer, worship him in the mood of honoring a great king, following the prescriptions of both the Vedas and Tantras, which is uh, like Narada, uh, Tantra explains about Pancharatriki Vidhi, worshipping Lord, just like you saw our Balaman Pogu in the beginning was worshipping hmm? with uh, Agarbati, with uh, ghee lamb, with flower, with uh, shank, with water and everything. So, some of you may be thinking that Dwapara Yuga means Archana of the Lord, even we are also doing Archana, isn't it? But that Archana was not uh, just uh, 15 minutes or 20 minutes. I have seen Archana in our home, uh, we used to have when I was a small boy. They used to do during this Vijayadasmi time, you know, 10 days they would do for all the Shaligram and everything. It will go for four, 4 to 5 hours. They would do Laksharchana, they would do. One, one petal, you can chant only one Krishna's name. Achitayana, Manantayana, like that you will chant. So they will offer how many flower petals? One lakh. You know? For 5 hours they would do, even in Kaliko. So in, in Dwapara Yuga, it is even more, very elaborate procedure was done. In South India, there is a temple called Periya Koil in Tanjore. It was built in 300 years, you know that? Huh? Which means one king built half the temple, uh, temple and left it, then his son continued, son continued, like that it was built. So the uh, Satya Threat, Dwapara Yuga means temple worship and great Archana, in which Lord is worshipped. Okay. So here he is saying, here he is saying, here if you see, uh, see here, here you can see this. See here, with each successive yuga, namely Satya, Treta, Dvapara, Kali, the condition of human society deteriorates more and more. Now, only the favorable qualification of the people who live during Dvapara Yuga is that they are Jignasavaha, huh? they are desirous of knowing the absolute truth. Hmm. Hmm. See, in Satya Yuga, there was Shanta, Nirvaira, Surya, so many, Samaha, uh, free from envy and all that. But gradually, you are all seeing the number of qualities are reducing. Did you observe that? Number of qualities are reducing or increasing? Decreasing, yeah. Now, this is the prayer they are offering. Namaste Vasudevaya Namasankarshanaya Chaya Pradyumnaya Niruddhaya Tubhyam Bhagavate Namaha Narayana Yarishaye Purushaya Mahatmane Vishweshwaraya Vishwaya Sarvabhutatmane Namaha Like this they offer prayer like this to Krishna uh, in this way. So, now comes Kali Yuga now. It is Vapara Urvesha Stuvanti Jagadishwaram Nana Tantra Vidani and Kalavapi Tatashano. Now I will tell you about Kaliuga, he is saying in this verse. Now we are all living in Kaliuga, let us. Who is making noise there? Haribo, do you want to give lecture now? I will put you here if you make sound. All of you repeat this verse. Krishna Varanam, Krishna Krishnam, Sangopangastra Parshadam, Yagnai. Sankirtana Prayayir Gajantihi Sumedha Saha See here he is saying Krishna Varanam. In Kali Yuga the personality of Krishna who will appear 
he will describe about krishna krishna varnam varnayati means varna huh? explaining krishna uh, trisha trisha means his skin a ah, krishna his color is not krishna's color what color i told you krishna's color before shyam but here he says a ah, krishna means his color is not krishna's color he comes in a different color which color that we can find out from another shloka from bhagavatam he says there are three colors shuklo pitas tatha raktas huh? like that gargavani in the name giving ceremony of krishna he told three colors huh? Krishna appears in three different colors. So, red color is already over. Which yuga? Satya yuga. And Shamavarna is already over. Which yuga? But now what is remaining? The yellow color. So, because he is saying color is not Shama, that means it must be what is the color? Uh, that is implicit understanding. Then he not only comes alone. Sango Panga Astra Parshadam he is saying. He comes with his associates. So we, we chant this Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita, Gadadra, Sri Vasadi. These are all called as, uh, especially Advaita Acharya and Tan Prabhu, uh, they are called as uh, the, uh, they are called as uh, like a branch of a tree. And Shivas is considered like branch of branch uh, because they are Jeevas, all the Jeevas are included in that. And also he comes with a holy name also, Jagyai Sankirtana Praye. See, as soon as you hear the word yajna, what comes to your mind? Some brahmanas are sitting and they are putting swaha, correct? No? But yajna doesn't exactly mean only that. Yajna means that which gives pleasure to the Supreme Lord. It's called yajna. Yajna, why Vishnu, it is said. Uh, that which pleases the Supreme Lord. So, in Kali Yuga, how can you please the Supreme Lord? By doing? Chanting. Chanting. Sankirtan, he says. No? Actually, when I saw this verse, no, I immediately remembered that our Subhara Prabhu's son's name is Sumed. Hmm? Isn't it? Here also Sumed is said. See? Yajantihi. Anybody knows what is the meaning of Sumed is Medha means intelligence. Su Medha means very good intelligence. Why it is called very good intelligence? Say, for example, you know, when you are investing money also, you look at which bank I should invest money. Where will I get the maximum returns and the bank will not go diwala? Correct, no? Do you check or not? Huh? See this material body in which the Atma is seated, it is called as a Diwala bank. Huh? Why? This body is such that, see from childhood, we go to school, we go to college, we acquire degrees like Radhisham Das, people uh, introduce me, M.Tech from IIT. But when I leave this body and go to the next body, can I carry my degree with me? Next life I say, I'm Radhisham Das from previous life, M.Tech I'm carrying. <laughs> can I carry like that? You can't carry. Huh? So, we should remember this, you don't carry anything with you. You don't carry the house that you build. You don't carry the laptop which you use. You don't carry any of the relatives and friends with you. Go to the next body. So, therefore, this material body is called Diwala Bank. It's a, surely, it's going to fail one day. Yeah, sooner or later, everybody's body will fail. Then, where should we invest our, our time and energy? So, there are three things which go with you. Punya and pa. And Bhakti Sukriti. Out of this, anybody can say, who is odd man out in this? Punya, Pap and Bhakti Sukriti. Anybody can say, which is odd man out? Pap. Bhakti. Can you say why Bhakti is odd man out in this? Yeah? Uh, okay. Continues to next slide. He's saying, okay. It's not that Punya doesn't continue. We will see that our punya and papa are kept behind us like a big sanchit karma. Just like we make chapati gata, we make big quantity. And in every lifetime, only one one gola is given. <laughs> one punya gola, one papa gola, both go with you. Because you can't take so much in one lifetime. So, it's given in, that also will go with you life after life. It's not that it doesn't go. But there is one another major difference. Why bhakti is odd man out? Huh? Oh, 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 I want the more simple answer I am looking for, yeah? It only increases. Uh, she is saying it only increases, doesn't decrease, she is saying, okay. Huh? Carries forward, it carries forward, accumulates more and more. All that is alright, but very important thing nobody has told till now. <laughs> okay, Krishna finishes the Punya Papa account, he saying, okay? See, very simple. Bhakti is spiritual, Punya Papa is material. Very simple. 
material things are finished, it doesn't go with the soul. Huh? You go to heaven and finish the punya. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Count down. Shine punya martila commission. You come back. Similarly, pop. Yeah, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. Again, you come back. Whereas bhakti can. Bhakti means, you know, indeletable, undepletable account. Just like in computer, you have a com file sometimes. You put the cursor and they delete. Access denied. <laughs> it will say like that. You see in that? So, bhakti is like that only. Even Yamaraj doesn't have access. Nobody has access to your bhakti. There is only one person who has access. Who has access? Only Krishna. And Krishna makes sure that your bhakti account is never, never depleted. It never reduces. It cannot be destroyed by anybody. And it will keep on increasing up to the 100%. When you, like in this lifetime you did 20, you start from 21. Huh? You did 60, you start from 61. And then when you finish 100%, you go back to God here. So therefore, intelligence means Bhakti Bhagavan ki karle Kajana nama se barle Bhakti Sri Krishna ki karle Samaj again? You understood? Hmm. So, your khajana, your treasury should be filled with Krishna Naam, which will never be destroyed. Hmm. Punya Papandal will be finished. It's material. It will be finished. Hmm. So, therefore, Yajna Sankirtana Prayer means we should do Sankirtan. Jajanti Hi Those who worship that personality, they are the most intelligent people in Kali Yuga. Let us see who it is. Hmm. He is accompanied by his associate. In the age of Kali, intelligent persons perform congregational chanting to worship. The incarnation of Godhead who constantly sings the names of Krishna. Like during the Abhishek, Mataji was singing uh, Hare Krishna Mantra. Uh, that is Sankirtan. You all are hearing and you are repeating after, this, after them. So, that is actually the congregation chanting which is the dharma for this age. Uh, Yuga dharma. Although his complexion is not blackish, he is Krishna himself. He is accompanied by his associates, servants, weapons and confidential companions. You see, his associates are who? Sri Krishna Chaitanya along with him, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita, Gadadara, Shivas, Adi, Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, all the innumerable associates of the Lord. And there are also his servants. And his weapon is what? There are two weapons Lord Chaitanya carries. One is his beauty, and the other one is the holy name. The two weapons he carries. So when Mayavadi Prakashan Saraswati in Varanasi he saw the beauty and the effulgence of Lord Chaitanya, he immediately became captivated. And also his another weapon is the holy name. Another beauty of this avatara is he doesn't kill the demons. Like Krishna kills demons, Balaram kills demons, whereas Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not kill demons. Rather, he destroys this uh, animal propensities in people. I'll show you one small video now. Yes. <laughs> Here is one of the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya, who lived around 500 years ago in India. One day, Lord Chaitanya and his associates set off early in the morning for the holy land of Vrindavan. They walked along the forest path and through the Jarikanda forest, which was full of wild and dangerous animals, such as tigers, elephants, snakes, and so many more. But Lord Chaitanya walked through there without any cares or worries, simply chanting the holy names of Lord Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. As Lord Chaitanya was walking along, Deep in thoughts of Lord Krishna, he unknowingly stepped on a tiger that was sleeping on the path. The tiger woke up. Oh no, now we are finished, thought his friend as Brother Vajra. Lord Chaitanya spoke to the tiger and said, Why are you sleeping? Get up and chant Hare Krishna. Tiger got up and amazingly started chanting and dancing, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. 
Well, the bachelor was astonished to see this behaviour. Another day, while Lord Chaitanya was bathing in a river, a herd of elephants came charging into the water. The Lord splashed the water on the elephants and asked them to chant Hare Krishna. When the, when the water touched their bodies, the elephants Krishna, Krishna! Some of them danced and others called out in great joy. Alabaja was amazed to see this miracle. Sometimes, Lord Chaitanya's sweet singing would trap the deer in the forest, and they would follow him. One day, even tigers joined in the party. Lord Chaitanya inspired all of them to chant Hare Krishna and dance together in ecstasy. Alabaja was struck with wonder. How was this possible? Wherever the Lord went, all the birds, trees and creepers became jubilant. Lord Chaitanya is asking all of us to join him, to chant and be happy, just like all the animals in Jarakanda Forest. So you saw how the Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was uh, actually you may you may wonder is it just a fictitious story that he made a tiger and deer embrace and chant or is it real story? You will you will see that love for Krishna is hidden in the heart of everybody. Huh? Just like you know there's red hot coal covered by ashes. Like that you blow off the ashes. Then you will see the red heart coal. Huh? Similarly, every jiva has that type of huh? love for Krishna. I'll just show you one thing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Ram, 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 Ram. How the child is enjoying the chanting of the holy name? Huh? You, you will see. Uh, actually, I have one more video, but it is in Marathi, that's why I am not showing you. Uh, this is a Marathi news of one deer which uh, saw the worker is going uh, to Pandarpur. So the deer became attracted from the forest, the deer joined. Uh, practically, the deer walked 20 miles uh, along with the worker is. And the worker is singing in 
under poor and the deer sat in the middle of them. Huh? Practically two full days the deer has spent with them. Huh? Mm-hmm. Hearing the holy name became attracted. Maybe some jivatma in the body of the deer must have been a devotee before and might have committed some mistake. He became he occupied the body of a deer now. Huh? But Bhakti Bhava goes life after life, huh? surely. So therefore, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is so kind that he does not kill the people, uh, demons, but he kills the demoniac propensity. Hmm. So those who worship him are the most intelligent, he says here. Uh, it's explained very elaborately. And then there are, there are three, four verses. All these three, four verses will end with the same name. See the last line. Vande Mahapurushate Charanaravindam. His name is called Mahaprabhu. See, like this, there are three verses. Uh, following this, see the last line. Vande Mahapurushati Charanaravinda. So there are verses like this. So my purpose of showing you these verses is let's come back to this one. Uh, so we were singing this song, Parama Karuna, Bahudu Jana Nitai Gauru Chandra. So in the age of Kali Yuga, Krishna and Balaram, you know, they come in this particular type of special form as you see here. Krishna generally plays on his flute, but here you find Krishna is raising his arms you know, as Lakshmi Chaitanya and he is dancing. And along with him, Balram also is raising arms and dancing. They are called as Gaur Anga, means he has a golden complexion. So there is an article in BTG called as uh, Golden Avatar for the Iron Age. What is Iron Age? Which is the Iron Age? Kaliuga. And he is a golden avatar. Is in Kali Yuga. Now, why is his body golden? If you want to know, there are many descriptions given in the scriptures. If you want to know about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu more, there is a uh, Atharva Veda, Chaitanya Upanishad gives almost 15 shlokas are there in that. You can read. I have full PPT on Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's supremacy, but that will take a long time to show. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, why is he golden? When Lord Krishna once uh, in the spiritual world was sitting with Srimit Radharani. He, he was asking Radharani that, Hey Radhe, I am seeing that all the bhaktas are more happy than me by serving me. But I am only Swami accepting service again and again. So I am not as happy as my devotees, he said. So one time in our uh, Vrindavan lecture, Parabhajarana Maharaj was giving a lecture. So he asked a very challenging question to everybody in the audience. Who is more happy, Prasadam eater or Prasadam server? So generally, what uh, immediately comes to our mind? Prasadam eater, correct? Huh? So everybody thought that Prasadam eaters are more happy because the plate is there, Prasadam is right in front of you, you eat it, you become happy. <laughs> so Gaurang Prabhu had told Maharaj that Maharaj, there are not enough people to serve Prasad. Everybody is only coming and sitting in the line. We want some help, helping hands. So he told, can you just two minutes make an announcement, Maharaj, like that he asked. And Maharaj spoke a whole one and a half hours lecture on this topic only. <laughs> Maharaj said on the importance of seva bhav, service attitude. When he finished the lecture at lunch, lunch time, there were 800 people lining up to serve Prasad. Gaurangpur said, if everybody stands in the queue, then who will eat? The novelty. <laughs> he had to beg them with folded palms, please go and sit, Prabhu, tomorrow you can serve. Then he took just about 50 people he took. The next day, Maharaj uh, asked the people, who gets more happiness? Everybody agreed that the person who serves gets more happiness by serving the devotees. Therefore, Krishna also thought that I am on the receiving end, but devotees are also serving me. In, there is a very beautiful poem by Tukaram, where he says, My dear Lord Vithala, you don't know how beautiful you are. You don't know how sweet your dealings are. Why you cannot know? Because you are like a lotus. Can a lotus know its own beauty? Can a lotus know the fragrance? Can a lotus know the sweetness of the honey that is inside the lotus? Who knows about it? Uh, bumblebee, who sits in the lotus. So who are compared to the bumblebees? Devotees of the Lord. Huh? So he said, Tukaram is saying that we are devotees, we know your beauty, we know your charm, we know your qualities, we know your pastimes, your sweetness. You cannot know it, like that he says. So, <clears throat> keeping this in mind, Krishna developed a greed. There is one verse which says that, Radha Krishna Pranayabhakriti Vladini Shakti Rasmat Ekatmanav Abhibhukura Deha Vedam Katautav 
चैतन्याख्यम प्रकट मधुना तद्भम चैक्यमाप्त राधा भाव द्युति सुवलित नवमी कृष्ण स्वरूप श्री राधा भाव द्युति सुवलित वेन कृष्ण डिसाइडेड दट आई वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट द जॉय ऑफ द भक्ति भक्तिमय सेवा डिवोशनल सर्विस शी डिस टू बिकम अ डिवोटी इन सोड ऑफ बींग गॉड गॉड ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू बिकम डिवोटी कैन इमेजिन दैट इज अ जॉय ही गेट्स so radharani told him that you will never be able to get this taste she said at that time uh, in krishna's chest in the kausta moment there was a pendant you know what is pendant pendant you know the correct the central one round one so there is a mirror type of thing in the pendant and radharani's face reflected in that so when she saw one amazing sight radharani saw in that pendant she saw a uh, uh, very very effulgent personality whose complexion was golden who had long flowing hair and with both arms raised the tears in his eyes he was dancing in the bank of uh, you know fastly flowing beautiful ganges and in the banks of the ganges he was not alone he was surrounded by hundreds of associates uh, all playing mridanga kartal where is mridanga hare krishna hare krishna कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे associates with this personality who are all playing very big uh, you know the kartals symbols and mridanga huh? and they were raising their arms and dancing so radharani was wondering who is this person and radharani i had a question she asked i am never attracted to anybody other than you you are my swami but when i see this person i am feeling attraction she asked is it you of course krishna didn't give the answer he was smiling Then Radharani looked at the eyes of this person. This eyes of the person looked exactly like Radharani's eyes. You know, big, big bumblebee-like eyes. So she was wondering, is it me or is it uh, Krishna? Who is that? And then Krishna told her that this is the form in which I will appear in the age of Kali Yuga as a Yuga Avatar. Uh, so when I appear in this form, I am going to become a devotee. I will not behave like Krishna. I will behave like a devotee. i will chant i will dance and i will teach the whole world how to become a krishna devotee how should the devotee behave and i will not kill the demons instead i will kill the demoniac propensities in the heart of demons in fact i will even make tigers and deers dance like we saw so this is lord chaitanya mahaprabhu most merciful avatar who comes in this age so prabhupada introduced us to three forms of god one is the da- dancing god who are the dancing god gaur and dai and who is the eating god jagannath balaji sudra isn't it who is a sportive god krishna <laughs> who plays on his flute and attracts deers and cows and calves and monkeys and everybody so in this way 
Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, Krishna told that at that time Radharani was worried. If Krishna becomes a devotee, a devotee sometimes in Kirtan may jump up very high and he may fall on the ground and he may hurt himself. So Radharani said, when you become a devotee, I will envelop your body with my color. Therefore, Radha Bhava Dyuti Svalitam Naomi Krishna Swarupam. Saruda Mother says this. So Radharani covered Krishna Shamarana with her golden varna, golden complexion. Therefore, it's called as Gaur Anga. Anga means limbs of the body. Gaur means golden. It's called as Gaur Anga. And Balram is called as Nitya Ananda, which means eternal, eternally blissful personality. So they both come in this uh, in this age of Kali. I just will conclude with one song. It's a very important song. Uh, because you will see when Lord Chaitanya comes in this world, what he does, that's very important. Isn't it? I can get the Mridanga. Somebody can move this. Huh? Yeah. So you all can sing after me. I, I will tell you the meaning uh, uh, first and then we will sing the song. Then you will appreciate the song meaning. See, Udilo means uh, uh, Udilo means to rise. Aruna, uh, Bhage. In the early morning, the sun started rising in the eastern horizon. Vijamani means this, the most uh, greatest personality, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, born in the Brahman family of Jagannath Mishra and Sachi Mata. Uh, Gora Amani Jage. At that time, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu rose early in the morning and called all his associates, in, invited them. Bhakata Samuha Loya Sate, taking all the bhaktas with him. Gela Nagara Braje. He started going on a Harinam Sankirtan. Like even in India today, they do Prabhat Ferry. You know that? Early morning people sing. And then Tatai Tatai. This is Mridanga is called Tatai Tatai. Bajala Khol. This is the Khol. So many devotees, bhaktas are beating the Mridanga. And Ghana Ghana Tahe Janjare Roll. Do this one. Uh, that is Janjare Roll. Huh? Playing on the kartas. And Preme Dala Dala Sonaranga. His golden complexion body was dazzling, shiny. Sarani Nukura Baje. He was wearing an uh, ankle bell in the lotus feet and he was dancing with the jel jel sound was coming. Yeah. And then what was he telling all the people? When he would be singing, uh, all the people would the peep through that window. Yeah. And they would come out at the doors and watch. So he told them. Mukunda Madhava Yadava Hari, he told them. Bolena Bolore Vadana Bori. Oh, people of Naudip Dham. Naudip is actually near Mayapur. Mayapur. All of you chant the holy names of all of you repeat. Mukunda. Mukunda. Madhava. Madhava. Yadava. 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 Hari. Hari. Like that he told. Bolena Bolore. Vadana Bori means what? Don't feel shy to chant these names. You should chant the holy name mildly or loudly. Uh, chant the holy name loudly, he said, without any shame. <laughs> because by chanting the holy name loudly, not only you will benefit, you can benefit mosquitoes and dogs and cats, all the living, other living beings also. Huh? And then he told that, Miche nida varsha gelore rati, divasa sharira saje. In daytime, you are decorating your body with different type of dresses. The night time, you spend your time in sleeping. In this way, your uh, human form of life is getting wasted. Like that you are saying. Huh? And Yemana Durlaba Marava Deho, your human form of life is very, very rare. Paya Kekaro Bhavana Keho. If you don't awaken love for Krishna in human body and you and you suddenly die one day and becoming cats and dogs in the next life, what a great misfortune. Don't waste your human life. Yevana Bajile Yashoda Sutta Charame Podibilaje. If you don't worship Yashoda Sutta, who is Yashoda Sutta? Krishna. Later on you will lament. Eh? That, oh, I wasted my life in disappointment. We will die a death in disappointment. Don't waste your life. See, th those of you who, who are 45 plus, huh? think about your children. Your children are already grown up. Huh? They stand on their own legs. So then you should uh, devote the next 20, 25 years of your life in taking out time to read the Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, coming to the temple, chanting the holy names. You don't have to go to Himalayas and stand upside down, plug your nose and dip yourself in Gangotri, you don't have to do all that. You just come to the temple, chant, the, come to the Lila and Kuhu's classes, which he holds every Sunday evening. Chant the holy names huh? and read the Gita Bhagavatam. Take Prasad, 
so we can spend your time in a devotional way because children themselves after they cross the age of 18 or 20. Hmm? So therefore he is saying, if you don't do bhajan of Krishna, later on you will feel ashamed at the time of death. He is saying, Udita tapana hoi asta, dina galabali hoi vasta. When the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, one day is removed from our lifespan. No? Why are you lazy then? Krishna is the lord of your heart. Why don't you worship him? Understand that the life is temporary. Anytime death can come. There are terrorists. There are so many kinds of problems all over the world. Remember that this world is full of dangers and uh, accidents and everything. So better when your body is healthy, when you have some time in human life, use it for becoming Krishna conscious. Take shelter of the holy name, like that he is requesting. And then he is saying, Jivere Kalyana Sadhana Kam, Jagate Asya Madhuranam. Chant the sweet holy name, eh, which is the perfection of life. And then you can come out of the Abhidya Timira, darkness of ignorance. Hmm. And then Lord Krishna will come and reside in your heart, he is saying. And Krishna Naam is like a Amritam, Sudha. Eh? And uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur is requesting, please accept this holy name. Without the name, in this 14 worlds, there is nothing more sublime than the holy name. That's all. It's a song. So, you are ready for the song? So, we can sing. We can move. Udila Aruna Pura Babane Vidamani Gora Yamani Jage Udila Leave it 
past times and uh, glories of lord chaitanya are so great uh, can't be explained in a very short time there was one fellow called subudhirai you know in those days if a muslim sprinkles water on you you are gone hindus will make you outcast so all the hindus told him since the subud that's the long story but why subudhirai did that as subudhirai was a small boy sorry subudhirai uh, was a uh, landlord master under him one muslim boy was working when he was a small boy uh, later on that boy muslim boy went on to become a great king uh, so one day his wife saw that in her husband's body behind there is a mark somebody has taken a cane and beaten him uh, so she asked who did this to you then he said my master subudra did it because i committed mistakes so he did she said how can he do this to you you should kill him she said so then uh, this king told her hey what are you talking he was a very good master he was very loving master you know although he punished me he punished me for who's good for my good only i don't see him as a enemy he's a good soul he said but wife was very insistent she said it is a prestige problem for me my husband has been beaten by somebody he has to be punished so he told her okay i will sprinkle water on him and i will make him a uh, you know Uh, he will be brushed up, and and Hindus won't accept him. So he sprinkled water on him. <clears throat> After that, all Hindus told you are no more Hindu. You cannot associate with us. Five uh, hundred years ago, this happened. So then the Subhadra went to Brahmanas and asked, "How can I be again accepted in Hindu community and not be ostracized?" So one Brahmana told him, "You have to do something." That's why Brahmanas said, "Brahmanas, we should not do that. Our Hindu name." पादारिंद मुखा शपचम वरिष्ठम मन्ये तदर्पित मनोवचने निदार्थ 
Pranam Purana is a Bolam, not a Ruri Mana. He says, if a Brahmana is a non devotee, he is not a Krishna devotee. On the other hand, a dog eater uh, Chandala becomes a Krishna devotee. Then the dog eater Chandala devotee is greater than even the person born in Brahmana family. Like the Tala and Maharaj says. So Lord Chaitanya said, you have nothing to do, just chant Hare Krishna, you become purified, you go back to Godhead, I can assure you, he said. And Subhidra chanted the holy name, went to Vrindavan, Mahaprabhu told him to stay there and serve all the Bengali Vaishnavas, he told them. Many, many Bengali Vaishnavas would go to Vrindavan. Bengali Vaishnavas don't like roti. <laughs> Vrindavan, what do you get? Roti and sardi, they don't like it. So he would make rice for them and the dahi, you know, curd for them. And he would also get the oils for massaging their feet. Huh? He rendered service, he would take them to all the forests of Vrindavan. And I was a rich man, money was not a problem for him. So he lived in Vrindavan and did Ram Seva, Vaishnava Seva, and went back to Godhead. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement. You can see that we are not a sectarian movement. Actually, we are not caught up in rituals and rites. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teaches us the glory of the holy name, chanting of the holy name. I just told you one pastime, you can tell innumerable pastimes like this. And Srila Prabhupada took uh, the message of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the Western world there and he propagated one small two minute video I will show and we will thank for it. Huh? Hippie, becoming happy. Hare Krishna, welcome back to video for the day. This is Sankar Shanda speaking to you from ISKCON, Austin, Texas, USA. The following video footage is very dear to me. It shows Prabhupada chanting back in the 60s on Hippie Hill in San Francisco. This is where I first met the devotees. They were just coming from Hippie Hill where they were doing the kirtan. I first met them there, right there as they were coming off Hippie Hill. See this personality who is speaking, his name is Sankarshara Radhikari Prabhu. He is, born, he is uh, living in Austin, Texas, USA. He himself was a hippie, can you imagine? He was one of the hippies. Vishnu Swami met him and made him a devotee. Now he has got 40,000 e, I mean, uh, e disciples. 40,000 people are following him up in the internet. He is doing classes. And last 50 years or so, he has chanted 16 rounds. He is a Rishi disciple of Srila Prabhupada. Last 50 years he is serving in the morning, 2 o'clock he gets up in the morning. Night is just at 9. Huh? And his wife is Vishnu Priya Mataji. She was trained by his old Kamal Krishna Maharaj. So they both come to Pune one, one week, uh, two weeks and a year they come. So last 50 years he has been travelling across the globe and preaching very vigorously. Although he was earlier a hippie by chanting Hare Krishna and the Prabhupada's guidance he became happy. Plus the fact that I was also from the hippie movement and if a friend of mine turned me on to this Hare Krishna mantra back in 1968. So it's quite nice footage. I'll go ahead and let, let you see it now. They call it the hippie religion. That's the name of the footage. Thanks for tuning in. Hare Krishna. <laughs> He embodied spirituality and his disciples wanted it. They said, I, we want some of that. Whatever it is he's, he's having, we want, I want that. So this is the guru. So many hippies were really in love with Prabhupada and in love with the devotees and considered the Hare Krishna to be the, the hippie religion at this point. If everyone in the United States believed in Krishna to the and to the extent that you do, what would happen to this country? What would how would it be transformed? Uh, oh, they'd be very happy and peaceful. <laughs> there will be no more hippies. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what would you describe as a hippie? Someone who smokes. You know what does that mean? <laughs> Something extraordinary. Sri Prabhupada ki? Sri Prabhupada took the same message of Rachet Mahaku who gave the holy name to people across the globe and he made them say, Prabhupada said, I cannot make tigers and deers dance together, but at least I can make hippies into happiness. So today, in both these homes, um, as I announced in the beginning, I will again give you the names, Prabhupada Prabhu, Nirupama Mataji, and Sumed and Sukhiti. So they are all going to start worshipping Sri Sri Gaurnitai, Rachetan return then they are born. 
and Dr. Chetan and Tanda are actually Krishna Balram's avatar in this age. And in the particular age, if you worship the Yuga avatar and chant the Yuga Dharma, if you do, uh, then that is the easiest way to go back to God. So if you worship God and in your home, and also uh, like decorating them with ornaments and worshipping them, and then doing treatments at home, calling the neighbors and introducing them to Krishna consciousness, home should become like a temple. Similarly, we have Ajay Prabhu, Shirpa Mataji and Sriyan. So, in this one, when a devotee comes to be a very serious practice, practicing standard, then sitting down the following the regular principles, then the date is a given. So, Lilan Prabhu knows the family, Lilan Prabhu and Radha Prabhu know these two families very well, personally. So, after having observed their performance in devotion service, they have chosen to give them the blessing of bringing the Radha Prabhu in their homes. And I will request all the devotees to pray for these two families that they very wonderfully be able to do their services in the deities. Like my sister is living in Pune, she has both sisters of Gaurmita, very similar, dancing Gaurmita, you know, moving up there. So after the deities came to home, they became so fired up and serious and doing so many programs now and calling people to give them so many. Even when children come in the colony to educate them. So the house has become very vibrant and it's turning to Buloka will become Buloka. So we, we bless these uh, two couples and their children that they will be able to very nicely take care of the Lord. His only Bhaktivinoda Maharaj came to my sister's home in Koyambuto. So he asked my sister, how many children do you have? She said, two children. So Maharaj said, now you take care of four children. Maharaj, I said, two. I said, yes, you have two and God will take other two. <laughs> so that care for the ladies is given as if you are taking care of your own child. And if we do that attentively, then we make very quick progress in spiritual life. And I thank Lilan Prabhu and family for giving the opportunity uh, to glorify the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu today. I did briefly, I just uh, scratched the surface of the subject. It's a very vast subject. Mm. If you liked it, you want to know more, many of you raised the hand, you're coming for the first time. Uh, Prabhuji will announce now how you can connect to his program and he will tell the details now. Okay, Prabhu? Thank you. Thank you.